Hey there, everybody. Look at that. We are live. Good morning. Welcome to the show. This is seven minutes in the morning. This week, we're talking about being stuck and how to get unstuck today. Three things that keep you stuck and how to break out right after this. This is seven minutes in the morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. My name is Tom, and this is the show. We talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. Later on this morning, you get a chance to watch Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. That is my live local radio uh, show. We talk about the same thing, but a little longer format. We ha- try to highlight uh, local business stars. So uh, today, Vicki Morris and Rigbed Yoshi are going to join me. So be sure and tune in for that. 8 o'clock, talk radio for entrepreneurs.com, or if you're in the area, WTKI, 1450 AM, 105.3, <laughs> 105.3 FM. All right, and when you get here on this show, Do what Catherine has done already. Leave a comment, say hi, hello, a blessed and determined morning to you. Whatever sounds good to you sounds great to me. This week we're talking about being stuck and how to get unstuck. And today I want to talk about the three things that will keep you stuck forever. You'll never make any progress. Speaking of progress, we should define that. I had a great conversation last night where as we kind of work through the issues, the problem that was holding this person back was not progress, but perfection. Well, I can't be like so-and-so, so I need to study more, do more, buy more, work harder. I don't have that much time. They have somebody working on it for them. I'm like, look, you are, first of all, holding that up as perfection. Number one, perfection doesn't exist. Number two, hey, Joe. Hey, Jeff. So number one, perfection doesn't exist. Number two, you're comparing yourself now against somebody who is much further down the road than you are. Bad comparison to make. What we should be after instead of perfection is progress. Progress, by definition, look it up in the dictionary. Movement in a direction. That's it. Movement. Right. So in the case of the conversation last night, if you can't put together a 1500 word blog post, (coughs) put together a 15 word blog post. Here's a picture of my new chairs. I hope you like it. I don't know how many words that is, but that's progress. That's movement in a direction. All right. So when we're talking about being stuck and and trying to get unstuck, one of the things that keeps us stuck is that we look at full speed, being completely free of all entanglements and able to operate at full speed and, and hold that out as, well, that's what I should be. And look at me, I'm stuck here in the mud. I'm just going to sit here because I can't do that. Well, no kidding. All right, so here are the three things that will keep you stuck. If you do these things, um, yeah, if you do these things, you'll remain stuck forever. Number one is that this need to be perfect. That it, it, even the person that you hold out to be perfect isn't. They're just ahead of you, and you're ahead of somebody else. If you're not careful, they'll whip right on around. You put out a couple of blog posts a week and now you're behind. And a year from now, you'll sit here and like, I don't even know who this person was. They came out of nowhere and now they're ahead of me. Uh Uh-huh. Because you were waiting for perfect to happen. That's number one. Number two, waiting on someone or something else to pull you out. You ever been stuck? I mean, like got your car stuck in the mud. I remember one time we were real little. We went to the beach and... Just pull off the side of the road to go out to the beach. Came back, got in the car, stuck. All the way down to the axle, man. I mean, just stuck, stuck. And, of course, growing up on a farm happened all the time. Get the truck stuck down in the field. You get a tractor stuck. Excuse me, whatever. 
one of the things that we learned <clears throat> in order to get unstuck is that you need traction. When you're stuck, you don't have any traction. Your wheels are just spinning. So you need traction. Well, here's the, that's the good news. The bad news is traction stems from, comes from friction. Oh, friction is rubbing something the wrong way. Friction is creating heat. Friction is what creates blisters that ultimately become calluses. When you get stuck, you need to find ways to create friction so you can have traction so you can get unstuck. Don't wait on somebody else. In the case of being stuck on the beach, we would have waited a long time because it was the middle of the night. Why anybody coming by? <clears throat> We just had to find something, a board or something, jam down in that hole, rock the car back and forth so we, till we got out of the hole. That's, that's what you do. That's how you do it, right? So don't wait on somebody else or something else or the circumstances to change. Just keep going. Keep moving. Forward progress. Movement toward a goal. And third, so number one, waiting on perfection. Number two, waiting on someone or something else to get you unstuck. And then number three, oh, by the way, before I move on from that, if you're going to blame, let's turn this around backwards for a minute. If you're going to blame someone else or not having something for you not being able to get any traction, then you also need to give them credit when you do get traction and you're successful. Hey, look, guys, it's not me. It's this other person who's responsible for my success. Oh, but you don't want to do that. Okay, so if you don't want to do that, don't depend on them. Grab your bootstraps, yank, and get your own self up. Number three, no clear vision. Remember, progress is movement in a direction. If you don't have a direction, everything looks good. Oh, this is a great thing to do. Oh, this is a great. Oh, there's a new social network. Oh, the algorithm changed. I need to update everything. Oh, I like this template better. I like this theme better. It's always, there's always something like that going to happen. Which one, which one of those moves you closer to your outcome? In this conversation I had last night, I probably asked that question 20 times. They, they couldn't answer. They never thought about it in that respect. So there was so everything, everything sounded good. Every option sounded great. Every new thing sounded like something else I've got to learn, something else I've got to do. Studied, studied, I mean, thoroughly studied how Instagram works, the right schedule for posting, how many, to, how many words to include in your caption, a hashtag, a whole nine yards. Hadn't made a single post. But knew all about it. Don't, don't set out on any journey without a clear outcome in mind because you will easily be distracted and get stuck running around in circles right there where you are. All right. So recap real quick. Don't, you don't need to be perfect. You don't need to wait on somebody else and you do need a clear vision of where you're trying to get to. Those are the three things that will keep you stuck. If you do any one of those three things, you will be stuck. And you will stay there for a long time. Tomorrow we're going to start talking about how to, in addition to these, how we're going to build on these to get unstuck, get some traction, start making forward progress. You don't want to miss that. Go ahead and follow and click the notifications. Or if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and ring the bell. Or if you're listening in a favorite podcast catcher, subscribe there as well. All of those work and all of those hopefully will make sure that you here uh, get notifi notified when the next episode is up. Don't forget the radio shows, eight o'clock. Talk radio for entrepreneurs.com gets you the right place. Write 20 words a day until you have a blog post of 1,500 words, says Catherine. Yep, if that's the link you want. Uh... <laughs> Catherine, you are bad. I have a picture of my son stuck in a hole. He called for help. I came out, laughed, went and got the camera. Then encouraged him to find a way to get out of the hole. <laughs> we do that to ourselves. Oh, that's a great story. You guys have a great Tuesday. I'll be back again tomorrow with another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Take care.